Growing up in Chattanooga is a very different experience than living here now. In the 70s, Chattanooga was proclaimed the dirtiest town in the United States. First air pollution emergency of the year is reported in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It was dirty and polluted and crime ridden. It was not really very appealing. You know, it was a pretty smoggy place to live. Businessmen would take two shirts to work. As a kid, I can remember you didn't really come downtown. You know, it wasn't, uh, uh, you know, family friendly, let's say. So what did Chattanooga do? Chattanooga transformed itself. From our dark days have come many bright spots that, uh, quite frankly, have produced a new Chattanooga. There's a great deal to do in Chattanooga. Uh, the outdoor life, uh, the lakes and the rivers and the forests and the mountains and the hiking trails uh, all play a part. But Chattanooga also has a very vibrant downtown, a very vibrant uh, cultural component to it. And of course, it is a town that, uh, in terms of economic growth, is absolutely on fire. We've been named twice by Outside Magazine the best outdoor city uh, in the U.S. The beauty of our city, um, I mean, it speaks for itself. I mean, we're a city in the midst of mountains and a beautiful Tennessee River and uh, just the outdoors, the, the God-given amenities that we have here uh, themselves are phenomenal. But then the city, through the years, have, have fi has figured out ways of taking advantage of that. So average citizens uh, have the ability to, to walk along the waterfront, to, to ride their bikes, to participate. And so in that way, it's a most unique city. It's very difficult to replicate what is here. And the people here and the embracing nature of them and the enthusiasm that they share with others who come here, I, I just, it's a remarkable place. It's the people that really do make this the community that it is. It's just citizenship that roll up their sleeves and say, I wanna help. Whether you come from Georgia, whether you come from Alabama, whether you come from other parts of Tennessee, People come to Chattanooga, they see the opportunity, they make this their home, and they improve it. And then they give back. We take care of each other, and when people come to Chattanooga, I think they, they feel that. The fact that this wonderful event uh, is taking place in our community, I'm grateful for that. Very, very expensive automobiles. They're beautiful. They're loved by the people who own them, who want to share them with other people and be with other people who have the same interests. It's pretty cool for Chattanooga.